The title of the paper is Driver's Tasks in the Context of the Increasing Degree of Automation of Road Transport. I have five points there. Just a minute. Just don't touch your mouse for a bit. No, it's okay. You can use the arrows to change your slides. Please go ahead. So, uh, I don't want to go back to the presentation plan, but anyway, there are five points, introduction, research problem, research methods, research result, and conclusions. The development of technology today is so dynamic that we can also change safety systems and driving support systems, which increase the autonomy of road transport. Well, full autonomy means that vehicles can operate independently um, and professional drivers will no longer conduct those tasks. I think eventually there won't be any drivers in the vehicles and the vehicles will um, drive on their own. The research problem is how will automation of road transport affect the tasks of a professional driver and will autonomous cars eliminate the profession of a driver. So, what we did is we conducted a broad analysis and synthesis of information based on the literature, documents of the EU, and documents of other institutions. We also used reports, relevant reports from the different uh, organizations such as transport companies and employment offices and also information from uh, interviews. We divided the driver's tasks into those that are required by the law, and that means it applies to all drivers, but also there are tasks that are independent of the form of employment and are based on uh, driver's contracts with their employers or service providers. Well, uh, to characterize driver's tasks, well, that really um, varies depending on the type of transport they provide. You can transport goods or people. Um, haulage can be national, international, regional, local, urban, etc. And there are different types of transport, but there are many tasks that are only typical for specific types of transport, such as special haulage. And uh, there are six groups of driver's tasks. And please note how many uh, tasks um, drivers have, and this, all of these services are provided by the driver, and it will uh, vary from company to company, and some of these tasks, um, I mean, not all of the tasks are <coughs> covered every time. So preparation for transport, then loading, um, securing the load or ensuring that the passengers are safe and then the actual transport breaks and rests um, and then unloading vehicle maintenance um, and then fuel invoicing. So for the purposes of this paper, I've only selected one of the groups because of time constraints. So preparation for transport. So what the drivers do. 
is they have to prepare and have or obtain personal documentation. They have to have civil liability insurance or the green insurance uh, cards, transport permit, green card insurance, valid fuel cards. So a lot of tasks for the driver as they prepare for the job. And um, there are uh, other things uh, regarding the vehicles. They have to run a check of their vehicles or the brakes, the, the lights opening and closing, bus doors, etc., etc. So a lot of activities to be conducted by a professional driver. And here is the scope of activities performed by professional drivers, which can be uh, automated. But there are also those that the driver will continue to, to do. And once we have fully automated uh, vehicles, someone will have to do those jobs anyway. So we studied the literature. And so to I define the scope of activities, um, related to driving that can be automated, we um, applied the SAE um, autonomy levels classification. There are others as well, but this one's most characteristic and best known. It focuses on the number of driver interventions and the need for attention while driving, uh, rather than on the technical ability of the vehicle. So the classification um, has six levels of vehicle autonomy. It begins with level zero, where um, the people are responsible for driving, accelerating digs, slowing, and also taking action if there is a breakdown. Uh, perhaps. I, I will stop there rather than talk you through the entire classification. But from level three, four, and five, uh, the systems are pretty advanced. And I'll come back to that later. But now moving on to the conclusions. Currently, Driving assistance systems for level zero, that means no automation, um, and also for level one, some driver assistance, and a smaller number of level two vehicles, that's partial automation. So these things are already in use, mainly in passenger cars. We use those cars. And um, it's our daily experience. Mostly uh, the systems are still simple, level one and level two, like and um, they um, aid us with parking. They monitor the blind spot or su uh, support emergency braking. The <clears throat> driving assistance systems don't really interfere substantially with how we drive. Studies are ongoing to introduce um, level three of automation vehicles, which is conditional automation. And if that happens, driving safety should be better and driver fatigue during long journeys can be reduced. Um, there is research and testing of automated systems for level four and five. And this is ongoing. Uh, what else is coming to the fore? There is a shortage of professional drivers. There are too many uh, tasks a driver has to perform, and that has to be reduced to ensure a more efficient and effective and safe haulage. Over the years to come, uh, the professional driver doesn't seem to be uh, endangered, uh, because even if we are at level three and four, the driver will still play um, a basic role. But before we get to level five, that's too far-fetched. And um, it's difficult to say that this poses a threat to the profession of the driver. Um, so the role of the driver will change, but there will be more automation. And it, this will mainly cover um, how the vehicles are driven. 
All these changes will not happen so quickly to reach level five. I th this will take a long time before we get to level five. Well, but that's the situation. This is what we know from our research, and that research is still ongoing. Thank you.